Hey there, Tony Joe from Remax Camosun here in Victoria, British Columbia. I'm going to give you the sales stats report for real estate for the month of December 2018 and also a recap as to what happened the entire year. It's January the 2nd right now, a little bit rainy today, but it's not cold. Uh, it was a beautiful day yesterday, January the 1st, but I'm going to put the stats up right now for uh, December 2018. Uh, as you can see there, sales are down 18.8%. Uh, no surprise, this has been the way it has been for uh, pretty well the entire 2018. Uh, Inventory-wise, uh, we're below the 2,000 listing mark again at 1,988. Uh, so we are up 43% in inventory. It was really low this time last year. Uh, you know, it was a slower month, there's no question. We had a couple of properties that had been sitting around for a little bit. Older inventory actually moved, so there's been some activity. It's not that it's dead. It's just that things are kind of going back to the way they were before. Uh, so no longer is it a white hot market. No longer do we see multiple offers on anything that comes out there in the marketplace. Things need to be really well priced in key areas in order to get that activity. Now, let's talk about what happened in 2018. I'm gonna put some stats up here for you right now. You can see we had 7,150 sales. Now that is down, it's down 20% uh, from last year. So, you know, the news might say, oh my goodness, uh, the market is crashing. I gotta tell you this, in the last 27 years, I'm sorry, 28 years, 2018 stands at year 13, the 13th best year. So in other words, there were 15 other years that were far lower than it. I gotta tell you this, our peak in sales was 2016 at 10,622 sales. So quite a bit higher, first time ever we cracked 10,000. But let's talk about the lows. Back in 2000, there were 5,255 sales. So think about that for a moment. 7,150 sounds low, but it sounds a lot higher when you compare it to 5,255 uh, back in the year 2000. So prices now, let's talk about that. Uh, if anything, they have been stable for the year. They've risen a little bit. When we compare the numbers um, from this 2018 uh, to 2017, we're up about 5.68%. We ended up, average single uh, family house price was 908,727. By the way, this is very different from November of 2018. It was out there in the news. Average sale prices went down. Oh my goodness, they were 852 for November 2018. So um, that ended up being just a point in time. It was not definitely a representation of pricing in general. So what's gonna happen in 2019? Again, more stability. Uh, I think we're sort of back to normal pace right now. Um, the one thing that I will say is those who were waiting, hoping that prices were gonna plummet, go down 10, 20, 30%, it didn't happen and I think it's not gonna happen because we've got to remember about all of the uh, facets that Victoria has to offer. It is a government town, military, tourism, lifestyle, retirement, weather, technology. There's so many reasons why people come to Victoria and as long as there's more people coming in and inventory is low, that means the market will remain relatively strong. So that's what's gonna happen in 2019. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out to me, happy to chat. Uh, that is our report for both December and for 2018 as a whole. I'll be back here again for you guys uh, to give you the January report, and I will enjoy the rest of the day in the rain. See you soon.